Alrighty, so welcome back to the channel, and congratulations, you've made it to Friday. As everybody knows by now, hopefully, Fridays on this channel are now about being less fat. So for today's episode of Be Less Fat, I decided I'm going to walk you through kind of a normal uh, chest and back workout. When I do chest and back, I like to do them at the same time, and I'll do supersets. So as I go through, you'll get to see, but um, the the basic principle of it is if you're doing bench press, as soon as you finish your set, you're going to grab a bar and you're going to do some rows and I'll do, uh, that with my bench. I'll do it with incline bench. I'll do some, uh, some single arm rows. And then, um, when I do flies, I'll do back flies. So I don't know. It's kind of a, it's a good way to get a lot of extra sets and reps in, in a uh, shorter period of time. Because again, the purpose of doing the workouts this way is to move more weight in order to burn more calories and hopefully lose a little bit of fat. Um, so far, I'm not holding up the diet end of that <laughs> of that equation so well, but uh, I don't know. Hopefully I can get that back under control. Regardless, I hope you enjoy the video. I will talk to you guys later. Alrighty, so with every workout, I like to start with a warm up that's body part specific. So this is the warm up that I do when I'm working uh, my upper body or chest and back. Um, I like to get my shoulders nice and warmed up because my shoulders tend to hurt quite a bit. So I'm gonna start with um, what do we call these? Some lateral ra lateral raises. I'll do um, 12 to 15 reps depending on kind of how I'm feeling. The reps actually will go up as the sets of warm-up go through. Um, when I start off cold, I can't quite do as many reps. So I do the lateral raises and then I'll do some uh, over the head presses. And then I'm gonna do some lateral flies. Just trying to hit every angle of that shoulder joint that I can. And um, hopefully I can get it nice and loose so that I don't have to worry about any injuries. So I will go from there over to the, uh, the pull downs, work my lats a little bit, <clears throat> a lot of people don't realize that when you're doing bench press, your back muscles and your lats actually have a lot to do with supporting that exercise. So it's important that you get the whole system nice and warm. And when I do this warm up, I'll actually do um, three to four rounds of this little circuit. I like to get a nice sweat going before I ever touch a weight or sit down. Um, the next thing I go to is I'm getting my triceps nice and warm. I've talked to you guys before about how I had some tricep pain issue in the past. Still dealing with a little bit, but uh, this is just to help kind of prevent that from happening. This is a really light weight for me, and I'm doing like 20 reps. And then from here, I'm gonna do some push-ups. There we go. Um, I don't remember how I do, like 10 to 15 reps on push-ups. Just trying to get the whole system nice and warm. And uh, then we'll be able to move on to the bench. Okay, so now we're on to the bench press portion of the workout. And this is gonna be, I recorded a warm-up set and then I recorded a working set. I wasn't able to record all my sets because people get in the way in the gym sometimes and I feel like a douchebag setting my camera everywhere. But um, this is gonna be the main mover of the day. <clears throat> so we're gonna do some flat bench press, probably warming up with 10 reps or so. And then I'm gonna rack that. If you can see the other bar in front of me, I'm just gonna reach over, grab that bar. I'm gonna do some uh, bent over rows. The idea, as I mentioned in the introduction, is that you do your bench and then you do the muscle that's on the opposite side of the body. Um, so that it's not fatigue, I don't know, it's, it's a principle. <laughs> and that's how I'm doing these workouts. So I'm gonna, this is my warm up set, I'm gonna jump into the working set, I'm gonna get out of the way. So it looks like for my working sets today, I was working with uh, 225, which if my memory serves me correct, it was a little bit too heavy uh, for how I was feeling that day. My arms are just a little bit sore. But uh, I did, I do four rounds of this, where I do 10 to 15 reps on bench press, depending on the weight I'm using. And then as soon as I rack the weight, 
I grab the barbell and I do some reps with that. Uh, the weight on the, the barbell on the ground is 155 pounds today. Alrighty, so I just did my four rounds of the bench press bent over row circuit. Now I'm gonna move over to the incline press portion. And for this one I'm using, looks like I got 85 pound dumbbells and I'm gonna do some incline bench. I think I do 12 to 15 reps on average here. And then what I do is I immediately, I drop the weights, I go to the back of the bench and I'll do single arm rows with that same weight. Um, again, it's just that kind of opposing muscle group kind of routine that I like to do where you're moving for much longer periods of time. The sets are much longer, but you're also at the end of the workout, you've moved a lot more weight and you burn a lot more calories. That's, that's the overall goal of this kind of training. Um, yeah, there's something else to say, but I can't remember. Oh, I'll do this for four rounds as well. So after those sets, I'm pretty well cooked, and uh, this is where we start to really drop the weights down pretty significantly. Um, now we're getting into more of the isolation type work for my workout. Um, again, we're gonna do four rounds of this. These are gonna be some uh, chest flies, and here I'm using 50 pound dumbbells. And then after that, I'm gonna swap ends on the, the bench there, do some bent over rear delt flies. Um, I don't know, they get kind of spicy. I wasn't able to get 
ton of video on this, but I did um, get another camera angle, I believe. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. I'll be right back. Rolling up over black Cadillac High heel boots and a sexy body full of tats Baby's bad, oh baby's hella bad After her there ain't no coming back Wanna take a run at that I think she's feeling me, turn it up a few degrees My imagination of her body gets the best of me Oh gosh, she's such a tease Bitten lips, bruised knees I'm addicted to her, need her touching me Cause she got a bad little waist And we tearing down this place Off the liquor that we chase Got some needles to the face Baby, I don't need no space Coming closer for a taste And I'll show you how I make everything Alright, so the majority of the work is done for the workout, and now I'm just going to do, I like to punish myself, so I like to just do a few more sets of things, <clears throat> and uh, today what I did was three sets of 15 to 20 reps of pull downs, um, one of the reasons I like to do so much back stuff on my chest days, it's a, a thing that I learned from Matt Winning, one of his videos. He said that on your chest days, in order to prevent shoulder injuries, you should do uh, the same number of reps pulling that you do pushing. So I just like to be on the safe side. I like to do a little extra pulling work at the end of my workout. So did a couple rounds of pull downs here. I only recorded two of them, but I think I did three sets. And then also after that, I'm going to finish off with some push-ups. Um, I don't think I need to talk over push-ups. I think you guys can you guys are smart enough to know what a push-up is, so I'm just gonna get out of the way and let the music take it from here. Nobody buys safe. She got a bad little waist, and we tearing down this place. Soft the liquor that we chase, got some egos to the face. Baby, I don't need no space. Coming closer for a taste, and I'll show you how I make everything just fade away. Cause she's like sex, drugs, cocaine, vice, so insane. Jealous of the clothing that she wears up on a tight frame. Cocaine. 
Well, there you have it. There is a uh, one of my chest and back workouts. That's the the format that I like to follow and kind of the way I like to do. I think you get a lot of work done in a relatively short period of time when you're doing uh, supersets that way. So I don't know. Let me know what you think. As far as the video goes, I don't know if I'm just a little bit tired today. I'm not really feeling this one. So let me know if this video is on par with the other workout video that I put out so far. And actually, I think I, by the time you watch this, I'll have you watch two um, workout videos I put out. Um, I don't know. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later.